Alright bozos, uh, I'm just going to teach you really quick how to add custom music to your armor scenarios. This can go base game, um, but I'm just using uh, Zeus Enhanced and the usual 3CB and RHS uh, mod pack. It doesn't affect anything. So what you need to do is you want to get your base scenario ready, have it saved, and you're going to want to open up the scenario directory or file, or folder I mean. Uh, go to scenario, drop the menu down, click on this, it'll take you out of the game, and open this up right here. So, what I've got is a description.ext file, uh, ignore this, but uh, we've got class EFG music, that's the config file, which is going to do all the good stuff for us. And we've got our class name, our class name is going to be track01. You can call the track name whatever you want, and then you've got the sound. This is going to be the path, so it's going to go to music folder, and then it's going to get your file name and the extension, which is .ogg. Or you can do .wss, but you just have to convert the crap, so not too fun. Um, this is the decibel, and I think this is the speed. So I got myself a very nice... <laughs> so we were going to use Audacity. Audacity is the easiest for converting music and editing music. So we've got our pipe falling meme sound.mp3. We're going to select it, or you can do Control A. Um, select, export, OGG, and then we're going to get our path really quick. So we're going to get to the directory of your music folder and everything. Music save. OK. So we've got that saved. I'm going to name it uh, track01 because that's what I do by default. So track01, that's his class name. The class name, uh, here's the path to it. You can add a name if you want to. Yeah, tr uh, class and sound have to match up. Uh, here's the name, you can do whatever you call it Gooba. Um, I have some extra ones down here just in case if you want to add more if you do want to add more all you gotta do is you gotta select up until the class line enter paste and then rename it to track 07 or whatever your new file is gonna be named alright so there's a couple different options that we can use to actually uh, make a script that executes the uh, song file and plays it so we've got a uh, First option is the debug console. If you do control D, it's even enhanced, I believe, or maybe default. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it'll pop up in the debug console, but if you're running the uh, server and you made the scenario, you can pop open the debug console by pressing escape. Or you can use the execute code module in Zeus. Just type in uh, play music track 01 with a semicolon and in quotation marks track 01. So you're going to want to do this on global so everybody can hear it. If you do it on local execute, then only you will hear it. So if we press uh, global execute, then we hear your grandmother falling down the stairs with a metal pipe. So if you want us to uh, have an option where you go up to an object and you uh, have an action where you you scroll wheel and uh, interact with the object to play the track, you will have to add this script here. Now, this is the default uh, example for um, adding a uh, add action script. So what we've got here is an action ID. This is complicated. Uh, don't worry about it. We got player, which refers to the player. Um, it will add the action only to the player. And then here's our meat and potatoes. We got execute the file. This is going to be the text that they see. In selecting the action, this is what's going to be executed, which has to be a SQF file. We'll get into that in a second here. So my SQF file is called song execute. So song execute.sqf. And then I'm just going to call this play song. Very sex. Okay. Now you see that right there we got play song. And now I'm going to get into the SQF part of it. If we go back to our scenario directory here. So here we go right here. Now 
what the SQF is, is it's basically just when you execute it, you can also use the, um, if you just like want to do this, you can do execute VM song execute.sqf. You can do that. And then it'll execute this file. But, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do play music track zero one. Boom. So that is now saved. When we go into here, it'll execute it. Beautiful. And also, when you do add a OGG file to your directory and you're still in the Eden editor, you might want to just hop into the scenario and hop out so that it uh, gets used to the fact that you're actually using it. And also, you can have a trigger set up to any player on the uh, activation, or you can have Radio Alpha if you want to cycle through the uh, little support uh, thingamabobber menu. Right here, I just got a 4x4 four four, um, activation radius. Go in here and activate. But yeah, there's a lot of crap you can do with music. You can have it dynamic or whatever you want, uh, but basically, if you're just too lazy like me and just like adding uh, play music or whatever, you can just drag it into a little trigger. Lots of things you could do. You could also do this with the hold action, but it just requires a little bit more uh, that's all. I might do a couple more um, script videos in the future. Uh, like and subscribe and kill yourself, please.